Okay, so uh, I'll just give the quick commercial that we have to do for, for commercial laboratory. Uh, Tandem Labs has four facilities now. We have one in Woburn, Massachusetts, focuses on non-GLT work. We have a uh, large molecule and small molecule lab here in West Trenton, New Jersey. We have a Salt Lake City facility, which was the original facility focusing on mass spectrometry. And then we have a new San Diego facility, which focuses on large molecule immunoanalytical techniques. Um, in terms of uh, the LCMSMS for the oligos, uh, what we found is we started working with them about 2007 was the first client that we had uh, come in and ask us to work on an LCMSMS method. Uh, we do have some in-house expertise in this area working in that field, so that really helped out tremendously. Um, it was extremely challenging, but what we found is that we have good sensitivity, we have excellent selectivity, uh, good specificity, and actually in terms of GLP, good, good throughput. I mean, this would not be what you'd want to be doing for discovery as we saw in, ye in uh, a talk yesterday. Um, we also have worked with UPLC, PDA methods for those uh, that are being transferred in. Those seem to work out okay as well. We presented that here last year as well as AAPS last year. Um, we've added on new clients now, um, several new clients, a lot of studies actually in both preclinical and clinical work uh, for GLP. Um, these are not easy. There's always some challenges in the method development. Uh, even though you can use the base method, several, the core method over again, there's always some challenges. And in particular, when you move into some newer products like more recently with uh, siRNA, uh, especially when they're heavily modified or um, custom formulations, it can really be challenging. Just to give you an idea, this is what our Q1 uh, mass spectrum is. We uh, actually were not able to present a lot of the data that we have, so we actually went out and bought our own oligos so that we could actually do these presentations. Uh, this will be shown at AAPS this year. Um, so you get pretty nice chromatography. You're actually able to separate out uh, some of the metabolites as, as much as you, you need to be, and that offers a lot of good flexibility, as well as because of the multiple charging, you, can, you have good diversity in terms of which transitions you're going to pick. Uh, give you an idea of an LLQ, 10 nanograms, and this is kind of low. Sometimes it's more like 25, but 10 nanograms is certainly doable. You can see the signal to noise is really good there, and, and we really strive to have very good um, accuracy and precision even at the LLOQ in our assays. So to give you an idea, it is uh, linear um, and, and this is very, very standard. Um, depending on if you're into the siRNAs that have certain formulations that are more complex, then you do have to do a quite a bit of extra cleanup in order to uh, eliminate any type of matrix effects. Give you an idea of the validation data. Um, this is in monkey plasma. It's LCMSMS data. And you can see from 10 nanogram up to the 2,000 you act, uh, for the 18 replicates, you actually have very good between run, within run, and the accuracy is, is, is extremely good. And uh, you know this is actually better than some small molecule work. If you look at the, um, the in human 10 different, or 10 different lots, you can see everything is pretty much within 2%, 1% bias, uh, CV of 12%, and that's at the LLQ. Internal standards are very important to monitor, and so you can see here that there's no uh, injection to injection, no column buildup. Um, there's a lot of things that go into that, ensuring that you do have good reproducibility of your internal standards, since that's your real measure of being able to troubleshoot any issues. And, and, and lastly, this is uh, some very recent work. It's a 20 tumor of, of, an, of an siRNA. And again, here's the 25 nanogram. And this was a custom formulation. It was extremely tricky and challenging. Um, and this is into GLP at this point in time. That's it. Thank you.